Hey guys, I'm Gil Butler, the Primal Chef, here with another recipe from the Bioptimizer's Primal Paleo Cookbook. I'm gonna be showing you today how to make a keto and paleo chocolate cake that rivals anything that you'd find in the cake shops out at traditional bakeries. And with this recipe, you can use it with our chocolate sweet potato frosting, which is another recipe in the Primal Paleo Cookbook, or you can use it to turn it into a keto and paleo ice cream cake, or just eat it on its own. There's a lot of uses for this one. It's a good one to have in your repertoire when you need to have a chocolate cake base. So here's what you'll need. Coconut flour, baking soda, cinnamon, salt, cocoa powder, palm shortening, the good stuff, and allulose, which is a keto sweetener derived from figs. You can also use honey if you're just going for the paleo approach. So you're also gonna need three eggs, which I have cracked in here. I'm gonna throw in together with the rest of my wet ingredients. So we're gonna throw in our half cup of allulose. All right, so we have our melted palm shortening and we're gonna need a quarter cup or four tablespoons. And it's important that this is melted, but not hot so that it doesn't cook the eggs. Okay, so now we're gonna whisk these together. All right, so then for our dry ingredients, we have our quarter cup of coconut flour, three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, as well as a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. All right, and we're gonna mix those together as well. Okay, so those are blended separately. Now I'm just going to add in the dry ingredients into the wet while running it. Okay, so we have our batter. Now we have a seven inch spring release pan. This is what I recommend using. We have a little bit of our palm shortening left over. Just wanna take it, you can stick your hands right in there and just grease the edges and the bottom and the sides so that nothing sticks when we release it. All right, now just fill this up. See the silky smooth chocolate batter, it's looking great. All right, and it's gonna go in the oven, 350 degrees, about 25 minutes. Check on it at 20, and be a little concerned if it's not done by 30, just keep your eye on it, should be good. So we'll see you back here very shortly. All right, so our chocolate cake came out of the oven. Look at it in its glory. Gotta let it cool down completely, which we did, because otherwise once you go to take it out of this pan, it will just fall apart. So spring release pan, open it up. Some stuff might have stuck a little bit. You just gotta nudge it out gently. There you go. Beautiful. So this is a, a you know a small layer cake. If you were to double that recipe, um, you could maybe get it to be a taller, thicker layer. But this is good for now. And what you can always do too, if you want to get a flat piece on top, you can take a cake trimmer. I'm just gonna run it across here. And like magic, that entire top layer comes off. And then what we're gonna do is take our frosting, and smear it on top.
All right, so we're gonna take spatula, make a good size triangle. There you go. All right, and then from there, you can just garnish it with some raspberries. Then I also like to take some of the crumble that we took off. This is all good cake, we don't get rid of it. You can kind of add some back on top, make it rain with it. Makes it a little bit more interesting, gives you a nice contrast of colors coming up. So we got the raspberries on there, sweet potato frosting, some chocolate cake crumbs. Looks pretty good, huh? Obviously it's a skinnier cake recipe, but you do have that option to just double it, cook it up taller, It'll rise more if you want like that really thick one. Or you can also use the same recipe and create multiple layers. Bake a bunch of single one of these, put the sweet potato frosting on top, and just layer it up, slice into it. You have to see all those layers on there. But for now, that's what we're doing, and we're gonna give it a taste. Okay, so let's see how it is. Mmm, that's good. It has chocolate cake that tastes just like a wheat-based, sugar-based chocolate cake, but it's totally paleo, grain-free. Sweet potato frosting does not taste like sweet potatoes. It was great on there. A couple raspberries helps cut through the richness of it. Fantastic cake, if I do say so myself. That is it for this recipe. You can find it in the Bioptimizer's Primal Paleo Cookbook. I'm Gil Butler. You can find me at theprimalchef.com or Instagram, the underscore primalchef. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.